I'm not gonna rant, I'm not gonna rant, I'm not gonna rant. Hello, welcome to Bucket List Homestead. My name is Lynn and I am so happy you dropped by. This dream of ours all started with a true bucket list that we made when I was battling cancer for the first time. I am now a four-time cancer survivor who is loving life and living her dreams. Please, I invite you to join us as we share our homesteading adventures, our lives, and navigating life with two neurodivergent children. God bless. We look forward to meeting you all. Hello, friends. Welcome back to the homestead. It is Friday for you all anyway. I'm filming this on Thursday, as you all know, because that's when our sales start. And it is our weekly grocery haul. This is the fourth week in a row that I changed how we were doing groceries to help try and save money. And um, i be honest, I do not like going out <laughs> um, as often as we have been. And I certainly don't like having to go to so many stores, but it's working. We, we definitely are saving money. Um, and unfortunately, you got to do what you got to do right now to save money. Um, I will say that I am getting very close to like breaking down and crying. <laughs> in some of these stores because some of the prices we saw prices today on meat we haven't really bought meat from a grocery store in quite a long time because we are fortunate enough that we are able to purchase um, direct from farmers um, unfortunately our beef farmer has taken a break from um, the beef until July and we definitely need hamburger and oh my goodness the prices in the stores for that same quality of hamburger is crazy, like nuts. And um, they're just like, we were looking at one, there was a, a, a roast, a beef roast. It was $76. I'm like, who, literally who is going to buy that? I wanna know, I wanna know who, who, who you are out there that is paying almost $80 for one little teeny uh, prime roast. I'm not gonna rant. I'm not gonna rant, I'm not gonna rant because it's the same old song and dance with this. But anyway, I had a budget of wanting to stay $200 or less. We weren't gonna go this week. If you remember, I said last week, maybe we won't go, but there were some good deals this week. And you know, you gotta go when there's deals. Bacon was one of the deals that was on, definitely. Butter was on, um, like quite a few things. So the first plum haul I'm gonna show you is from our grocery outlet store and then our Metro store, that is a grocery store here that offers the military discount. So it helps us save. We saved, I think like $12 just on the discount on the things we bought today. And I will put up here, you'll see what each store cost us that we went to. Okay, um, because this is the only thing and I wanna get it frozen, we get these um, chicken nuggets for Aiden um, from the Family Farms. Um, it's a newer store that opened just before Christmas. They're a local family. They actually have farms that they were able to like actually process a lot of their meat from and sell it in there. And these are like McDonald's. They're battered, they're not breaded. And that's what Aiden prefers. And so this two kilogram bag of them um, cost us $25. This will do him a while. And um, we haven't had any for a while. So he needs to get, it may not be the healthiest, but if you're all new here, we have two neurodivergent children. And, um, yeah, we need to um, accommodate some of their diet sometimes with things. That's one of the things he likes. I will say we are in a pickle because the French fries that Aiden likes, the no name brand that you can buy at our no frills, they don't have them anymore. And we went and talked to the guy and the company who made them for them closed. It went under. They're currently trying to find another person to make a company to make them. But until they can, there's none. So after we all do all this and we have a quick lunch, Dave and I are going to go to um, the next town that's closest to us that has a no frills and we're going to see if they happen to have any left in the freezer section. Not only does he like them, they're like $2 a bag, which is one of the cheapest french fries you can get. And um, we're going to get as many as we can that they have there to make sure we have some for him because yeah, there is another brand he likes, but it's like triple the cost per bag. And um, it's what he likes, what he eats. So, um, man, that is scary. When you have neurodivergent children and there are certain things they eat and they stop making them or you can't get them anymore, it is a scary proposition. So, anyway, so, okay, he got those. So, almost perfect. Okay, so, almost perfect had these um, Jordan's, the muesli um, cereals in. I got a Ford Nut Medley one, a Supreme Medley one. And this is a new one to me. It's Outrageous Oats. 
Um, I don't eat these as cereal. These are for toppings for yogurts. <laughs> One box of these at our Walmart is eight. Was it eight dollars, David? Eight dollars a box. Yeah. I got all three of these. It was three for ten. <laughs> and they had two other, I think, varieties you could get. Um, but these are the ones I like. But yeah, eight dollars a piece. That would have been twenty-four dollars, which I never would have spent. But I got all three for ten. So that was a crazy deal. Um, we have a very hard time. This is one of the oatmeal's graces grace likes. Um, it, there's one that Aiden likes too. It's not this flavor, but we can't get it anymore. We haven't been able to get it for a good four years now. But this is one Grace likes. This was $2.99 a box. Again, this is normally, if you can find it, it's hard to find. We usually end up having to go to like one of the health food stores and um, we don't buy it because it's like six to $8 a box there. So we've got two boxes of that. This is an absolute treat. They used to have these all the time, these two bite pumpkin spice scones and then sometimes they had blueberry. Um, they're actually sweetened with organic cane sugar. So it makes you feel a little bit better about eating them. These were two dollars. I I love these. Like I, I Grace likes them. David likes them. I like them. They're great with tea. We have not seen these in probably at least two years there. So I just got the one. I was good, and I just got the one. So that was everything that we got. It's almost perfect, and the price will come up here, and that's what we spent at that store. Next store we went to was Metro, and Grace wanted some grapes. We got her some grapes. Um, these were on sale, I think, for $2.99 a pound, so she picked up them. Aiden has really been on a peanut butter and cracker kick again. He wasn't for a while, but now he's back to eating them. These were on sale for um, $1.99 a box. We got another jar of the maple syrup there. We got a jar last week. Um, it was on sale for $7, save at 7 So this normal little bo bottle of maple syrup is like $15 usually, like that's crazy. But now's the time to be getting it because any that they've had left from last year, they're gonna start having on sale because they're um, tapping and getting ready to sell this year's maple syrup. I did get another thing of local honey. I'm not out of the stuff I got last week, obviously, but I just, I like to have at least one in the stock pile in our store, um, just in case. These are also the other favorite of Aiden's. He loves these topical crackers, so I got him a pack of them. I got my celery. I've been craving celery with my laughing cow cheese for a snack. And this is beautiful looking celery, like wow. So that was on sale for $1.99. And then these are new to us. Um, this is for Dave and I for quick breakfasts. The thick and fluffy waffles are not new to us, a Belgian style, but we can only ever get plain here. So they've got blueberry. And David wanted to try. I wasn't going to get these ones, but David said, yeah, grab those ones too. These are Strawberry Delight, bakery-inspired, rich and creamy cheesecake flavor. Um, it says no artificial flavors and colors. Well, you know, what they consider, I mean, you know, beaver anal gland is considered a natural flavor and some flavoring. I'm sorry, but it's true. But anyway, so we got these were on sale for two something a box. So that was a total little um, treat for us. So what we spent at Metro... Um, I'll show you the price we paid um, and like I said we saved 10% and then I forgot we did go to Sobeys that is the grocery store next to no frills in the town where Aiden goes to school we needed some um, it's hard to find I'm gonna have a big bread baking day here coming up soon friends and I might bring you along with me for that because I'm gonna make some sub rolls some hamburger rolls some bread because um, the price of this has just gotten it's insane um, but to go get a sub at the sub stores is insane. So um, David has off the next few days. So we got some deli meat, which you'll see in a minute at Walmart. So, but we could not find sub rolls. So we got a pack of these to have for our sandwiches. And I love these pepperoni sticks as a snack in the afternoon. So, and Sobeys is the only place to get them. The Fraby sweet honey garlic. And they're like the hard pepperoni, which I, I like. Um, so yeah, so that's what we got there. And I'll show you what we paid at Sobeys. Next up was Walmart, and it was it was definitely our biggest um, haul. Um, I got I really liked the ones I got last week. Last week I got I think they were just almond. These are dark chocolate peanut butter. Um, definitely I I prefer the chewier bar, so I got myself because they were still on sale. Another box of them. Hit Aiden's Cliff Bars were still on sale, so we got two more boxes of those. This was a surprise. These were eighty seven cents a can. Normally $2 a can, um, molasses baked beans. So I got four cans um, to put into our store to put on our shelves, shelf stable. Butter, butter was finally on sale somewhere. It's not that I'm like 
worried about how low I was getting. I still had a good amount, but we were completely out of salted butter. And that's what I like for like toast or whatever. They did have a four butter limit. So I got the four salted and Grace went through and got the four unsalted for me. So um, that will start um, adding back up into our butter. Like I said, I still have quite a bit of unsalted, but I had no salted left. So I was happy to see that go on sale. The David really likes these ribs, the Swiss chalet ribs. And truthfully, um, when they're on sale, it's cheaper to buy them this way than to buy ribs and do them yourself. These were, I think, $8. These are delicious. The Swiss chalet honey garlic ones. We really like them. So we got two packs of them. David got his treat for the weekend, his ketchup chips. Bacon. This is why we went. <laughs> Bacon was on sale for a really good price at Walmart today. Two, I want to say two seventy seven, and the butter was four four. Was it four forty seven or four ninety four forty seven? I think for the butter. We and this is our. We got some roasted turkey, um, for sub sandwiches. We already have some cheese. So like I said, yes, this is a little pricey, but how many sandwiches can we make out of this compared to if you go buy one sub? It's crazy. So that was our Walmart haul. I really figured, I thought we had more because it came to a lot, <laughs> um, but I guess not. So I will put up here what we spent at Walmart. Our last home, place we went to was No Frills and I had points saved up. We have a point system here where you can earn points and once you get 10,000, you can take $10 off your order. I had 40,000 points, so I took $40 off. I'll show you what we spent, but um. If you add 40 to it, that's what this was all going to be. Um, the French fries were on sale-ish. Um, I've been craving some sweet potato fries. Yes, I know I can make my own, but I really like these. And these were on sale, so I got one bag of them. Aiden's going to be happy. His smileys were on sale, so I got him another bag of those. At least I hope that makes up for not having his French fries he likes. David likes these super extra crispy spicy ones, which well, I don't care for him. But David wanted a bag of them. And I wanted some onion rings. I'm the only one who likes onion rings in the house. I don't have them often, but I thought that would be a nice little snack to have. Um, with March break coming up, we have a couple plant days planned of game day and things like that. So we like to have snackies sometimes for lunch instead of like a full lunch. And no, these weren't on sale, but I still bought a box of my buttermilk breaded chicken breast strips. Because like I said, I love these in my salads. Walmart did not have my blueberry strawberry water, so I just got two at No Frills because they're they've gone up there. They used to be the cheapest, now they're the most expensive place to buy it. These were two fifty each, so that's going to add to my. I'm I'm really hoping to have a good amount stocked away for summer this year. I got our salads, uh, my salad each for three dollars a bag, um, a little less than three because they're not quite six. They were fifty percent off. They have to be ate up in the next three days. That's no problem. I will have them eight. And then No Frills is also the cheapest place to get bananas. And David loves bananas. And even Aiden will eat bananas. They have to be a certain, he likes them to have some brown, but not too much brown. Like very, <laughs> that's my life, friends, trying to get food that my kids will eat. <laughs> that's fairly healthy for them. And uh, yeah, so once they get to a certain point, he doesn't like them. But yeah, David's been taking, I think, a banana almost every morning to work. So... And this is what, no frills, like I said, it's what we paid. But if you add $40, that's what it would actually cost, which is very depressing when you look at how little this is to what it would have cost. I, just insane. David's going to get some of these things into the freezer for me. I actually have to, um, I like to mark on my butter the month we bought it. So everyone knows, make sure you're taking the butter that's older out first. So I got to do that. But that is our grocery weekly haul. Um... We probably will go out again next week because when they have sales, like I said, as much as I physically and mentally don't like going out, I also want to make sure I'm getting the best bang for my buck with the sales. But they're just, <laughs> I, I hate, to, I don't want to keep ranting and I feel like it's, I rant a lot about it, but it's just, it's got to get better at some point, right? <laughs> right? Um... Man, I tell you, it, it's just when I see deals on me, I am going to buy them and I'm going to can them is what I think I'm going to be doing to help our budget. But um, we are fortunate enough that the kids do buy some things on their own. I've mentioned that before. So they help with the grocery budget and that is actually a huge help um, now that they're able to help with some of their own things, because especially some of the things they like <laughs> are the most expensive things of our budget to buy. So that certainly helps a lot. 
but um, I just, you know, let me know down in the comments below how you all are finding prices. I'd love to know what you're paying for a pound of butter. Um, that's a pound, right, David? Yeah, I'd love to know what you're paying for a pound per butter for a butter um, sale, non-sale. I'm just really curious because it seems to be so vastly different between the different provinces and the states, and it's crazy. I'd love to know what you're paying for it, and I'd love to know what kind of trips and advice you are doing to try to save money. And um, if you are noticing prices getting better where you are, please let me know down in the comments. I really would love to know that. So until then, friends, take care. God bless. Do your best, and we'll see you all soon.